going to share my screen and uh, uh, yes here you are so are you looking uh, do you have my presentation yes so uh, um, good evening to everyone and uh, uh, we're going to report about the f uh, one of the first studies uh, that have been done uh, on the effect uh, induced by the COVID-19 pandemic. And uh, in particular, we tried to, uh, to look for the, uh, the change in the student perception about technology distance learning. And this has been done as a case study at uh, Rome Torbergada University. And um, as you know, on the 5th of uh, March, uh, the, 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 the virus uh, was very, uh, start to outbreak uh, very strongly. And because of this, the government closed all the institution, uh, university and the schools. And uh, this was, uh, with, this led to the uh, completely lockdown of the, uh, all activities and then in the action. Uh, at that time, this actually is a picture uh, of the 10th of March, but at that time, uh, there were already 21% uh, of the total enrolled and learned that uh, were uh, uh, forced to attend uh, online courses. In Italy, uh, we're, uh, we had, uh, I mean, this, this lockdown affected uh, about eight, one, uh, 11 million of learners and about uh, 1.8 of them were in uh, enrolled in a tertiary education. So um, this was the situation just one month later when we performed the, the survey. And you see that uh, one month later, actually, uh, one, uh, one billion and a half uh, of learner were uh, in uh, lockdown condition that correspond uh, at an, uh, about 90% of uh, the total uh, learners. One in 93 country, basically uh, the world world. And so give, this gives you an idea of, uh, uh, a, I mean, uh, it's a tragic event, but it's also a huge experiment that could never have been uh, uh, carried on uh, any, in any way. So uh, this is the present situation. And you see that uh, slowly uh, things are getting better in some nation and uh, the school are reopening, uh, the institution are reopening somewhere. But of course, it's a very slow uh, process. And uh, uh, here is the, our study situation. We um, uh, collected the uh, questionnaire that were uh, um, filled by 101 students uh, in educational science bachelor course. And this, uh, this set of students were chosen because uh, uh, they were deemed uh, very interesting in filling the questionnaire since they are expected to uh, act as educator in their own life. 98% um, were female, and 45 of them were enrolled in the third uh, bachelor year, uh, 40, uh, 40 in the second year, and 15 in the first year. So, um, the, as I say you before, the, the, the survey was, uh, was launched and the questionnaire were collected about 30 days after the lockdown and it was composed by 40 questions, uh, quantitative and qualitative uh, questions. So, uh, the questions were intended to uh, explore uh, basically this for a different issue. So, first, uh, the first one was to uh, try to <coughs> take a picture of the uh, ability of the ecosystem to react. Uh, the second one was really to understand uh, which, which were the feeling of the, uh, the students about the activity and the setting. And uh, then the third uh, issue was to understand if uh, um, the reaction of the institution and uh, the feeling about the setting will be uh, was able to change the perception of uh, students about technologies and uh, finally uh, to explore from there if uh, uh, the, the the students start to have a special expectation for the future about le online learning and also uh, other activities 
So uh, um, uh, actually what's happened is that after one week, all uh, universities in Italy were swapping, uh, were, were swapping online. I mean, the, the one week was the uh, average swapping time for the all universities in Italy. And apparently we had no uh, big uh, trouble because uh, at least the students had no big trouble because 9% of them uh, um, think that they, uh, the digital skill they had was not a problem to switch online. Uh, of course, this is also because maybe most of the activities just try to replicate the, um, uh, the standard uh, dynamics, the classroom dynamics, but I mean, uh, nevertheless, uh, that, that's a fact. So um, here you have some, uh, some data about uh, the ability to react and the perception of the ability to react uh, by the institution and by the teacher. So you see that um, the, the, the readiness and also the adequateness of the technology, uh, technological environment that was provided by the institution um, were even very, very satisfactory uh, by the students. And the students were also satisfied about the, the ability of the professor to react. Uh, of course, a small amount of them has, uh, uh, had, had some problem, but I mean, it is a, a, a really a minority. Uh, and uh, apparently the students uh, thought that uh, the, 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 the ability to react, the didactic ability to react, the, the promptness to react was a little bit tighter than a technological one. Uh, the consequence of this uh, can be seen on the uh, evaluation of the immaturity of the campus. Uh, immaturity is a very uh, uh, complex construct that put together uh, technological setting, uh, um, digital competences, the organization of the institution, and also the vision uh, toward the future. But uh, nevertheless, it's very impressive that in less than one month and half, because uh, the data, uh, the blue one, uh, was data collected at the starting of the semester, uh, means mid-February. And just uh, one month after, you see that we uh, detected a very high increase, a relevant increase of the uh, uh, average perceived immaturity of the campus from 683 to 709, is a very significant one. So um, uh, here is a a slide that uh, show you uh, how technology has been used by uh, the professor to uh, carry on uh, uh, didactic activities. So most of them are used for content sharing and content production. And uh, of course, to deliver uh, some uh, lesson, uh, either uh, recorded lesson or a real time lesson and to communicate synchronously, asynchronously with uh, the, the students. Uh, as you see, only 40% uh, of the activities were considered to be collaborative or teamwork, uh, teamwork activities. So again, as you see, uh, they basically uh, tend to reproduce the transmissive uh, uh, the dynamics uh, that they use in the, in a classroom. Um, uh, one effect of, on the students uh, uh, concerned the device that they use. As you know, um, most of them now uh, use a mobile phone, but this is also because they are uh, always in mobility. And when you are in mobility, as most of you, you prefer to use, of course, the, the smartphone that is in, you know, in your hand. But once that you are in lockdown condition, what's happened is that uh, actually uh, the use of the, the smartphone to uh, attend uh, uh, didactical activities decreases a lot from 90% to 45%, while on the other hand, the use of laptop increases. This, uh, uh, of course, uh, demonstrates that uh, uh, if you are the possibility to stay somewhere, uh, and uh, if you are asked to, to uh, for example, uh, uh, produce a report or a project or whatever, then uh, the only way is to use uh, uh, the laptop. And this is uh, uh, a very, in my opinion, is a quite uh, interesting result. Um, uh, this is uh, uh, are the, uh, the cons that uh, students detect about the um, 
online uh, uh, education. So uh, we got a 93 uh, um, uh, answer to our question. And so you see that 40 of them uh, were concerned at the connectivity. So this is a very uh, important point because uh, actually not, not all of them had a very relevant problem, but uh, as you heard this morning by uh, uh, Donatella Persico, we are performing a, a very many different studies with the students at school, with the, the teachers uh, all, uh, all over in Italy, with the uh, professor teachers at university, and so on. And uh, we uh, uh, detected the problem, uh, connectivity problem for at least 15-20% uh, uh, of the people. So it means that uh, we should really reflect to the right to access, access a, a, a a nice uh, connectivity, a uh, wideband connectivity to, to, to avoid uh, uh, any kind of uh, gap or um, uh, um, uh, between different people, any kind of device, divide. So uh, uh, as we, you can expect, 24 of the, of the answer were, connect, uh, were, uh, uh, were related to weak interaction and lack of, of socialization. And uh, we were, uh, this also surprised a little bit, but uh, uh, in spite of the instantaneous connectivity and uh, interaction that you can have with uh, uh, people, uh, 50, uh, 50, 15 uh, answers were, uh, uh, were related to lack of uh, real-time clarification. Then, of course, uh, we observed also um, some observation by the use of multiple learning environment. And this has to do again with uh, uh, the integration of formal and informal learning of dif uh, different kind of uh, strategies, uh, online strategies. And uh, finally, we also some observation on lack of concentration because uh, when you are at home, uh, uh, you may not have the most, uh, um, uh, let's say, uh, suitable uh, place where to study or to connect. And uh, this, um, you may have also different stimulus. So you are living uh, uh, with other people. And so, uh, of course, you may have some problem. Uh, on the other hand, there were also a lot of pros. Uh, the first has to do with the time organization, because the students uh, uh, see, uh, realize that they have no dead time at all, no overlapping among the lecture. And so uh, they had the impression to have the possibility to attend more courses than when they were actually in face to face. So, um, uh, moreover, they had not to experience crowd at all. And someone say that uh, they, they have the impression to sitting always in the first row in a classroom. So, uh, if, they, uh, if one side they have no immediate answer to their, uh, to their question, on the other hand, they have immediate access to uh, content and also the possibility to repeat the visualization of lecture and so on. And uh, what's also is very interesting for them, uh, I mean, they multiply the interaction among them during the lectures. So usually they uh, connect and interact with the WhatsApp also during the lecture in a classroom in the face to face. But in this case, of course, this, this channel of communication was really amplified. So uh, we, as we can expect, uh, anyway, all of them missed the, 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 the physical setting. And uh, most of them prefer to perform all the activities in face-to-face, uh, -face, also with a different degree. Uh, what was very surprising is that uh, they, uh, the, the, the activity that they prefer to perform at the most in face-to-face uh, -face are the exam. So usually examination, uh, uh, the, the activity they worry at most the institution because uh, they are worried about cheating, etc. But students uh, would like to have examination uh, face to face. Why this? Because uh, they believe that they have the possibility to uh, to, um, uh, to to create a, a, a contact, a direct contact with the, with the, the teacher, uh, more empathy. And also, they believe that uh, also the the, uh, the judgment of the performance will be uh, more uh, more uh, uh, adequate. 
So, um, nevertheless, uh, the, the, here you see that uh, these experiences start to change the mindset of the students about technologies. So, they had a very good uh, uh, perception of, uh, about the increase of their uh, competences. And also, uh, of course, uh, this is driven by the in increased interest in technologies. And uh, also the, the, the opinion on the, on the uh, positive impact of, on the didactic activity was very, uh, very high, as you see. So uh, uh, when you were, they were asked to uh, tell for which they, after this experience or during this experience, uh, for which they think that the technology may be very useful, you see that the, 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 the answer that we got are very, um, can map very much on the activity that uh, has been proposed to them. So again, you find uh, the, the ability to download, organize, share content, and uh, production of digital content, participation in, uh, in classes, virtual classes, and digital communication. So uh, this means that uh, the, um, uh, the opinion about the use usefulness of the technologies is strongly uh, uh, driven by what you propose to the students. Of course, they are learning, and so they learn what you propose to them. So <clears throat> overall, in any case, this is very interesting uh, uh, result. Uh, when you ask uh, them uh, in which uh, modality they would like to continue to their uh, cu curriculum, their, their studies, well, you see that uh, only 32% would like really to come back to face-to-face -to -face, uh, 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 activities uh, and uh, only 12% uh, would like to switch completely online but there is 56% more than 50% that would like to continue to continue in uh, uh, in uh, uh, blended modality so this is giving you an opportunity uh, this gives you uh, an opportunity to, to think about how to change things. Of course, uh, this slide is, is very coherent to what I've shown you because we try to provocate them and ask if, uh, for example, uh, both the university and school should swap fully on virtual. But actually, as you see, uh, uh, the answer about uh, the, the universities is, is very coherent because uh, is uh, uh, the, uh, the desire to have it uh, swapped to the virtual is uh, around uh, 5.7. That is coherent with the fact that uh, uh, they would like to to uh, uh, to continue in, in blended modality. While they are quite against uh, the, the swapping of the school online. So you see, it, this is also the opinion of uh, most of the people, at least up to the secondary school. Uh, this is an, a very another, in, 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 a very, uh, inter another very interesting result because the, the um, uh, student that we interviewed with, uh, um, before this, uh, this uh, lockdown, uh, we're not thinking at uh, thinking at all uh, at working uh, online in, in the distance learning uh, uh, domain. So uh, actually, they change completely mind. So you see that now only a small part of students uh, continues to say that they don't want to to work in the distance lens, uh, learning domain. But there is a large part of uh, of the students now start to think that the work in the distance learning is an opportunity, and this is something that can be uh, can be done and can be really looked at uh, as a possible future. So uh, the final message that I would like to, uh, to provide you is that uh, as you uh, uh, have seen uh, this uh, um, uh, tragedy, this lockdown uh, nevertheless has uh, uh, produced a, uh, an increase of awareness and, an, uh, and the momentum that is there. So uh, this means that uh, this gives you the opportunity really to rethink all aspects of learning ecosystem, uh, places, content, process, competences, and monitoring. I know that this is very difficult because most, mm, most I mean, a, a lot of people is not, uh, do not agree at all, but uh, nevertheless, uh, I mean, we, try, we should try to, to take this uh, uh, opportunity, uh, but the recommendation is to make really uh, things simple and try to empower people. 
and uh, make things interoperable because otherwise uh, we uh, learned from uh, 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 the past the European project of technology and answer learning, we are not really uh, uh, capable to, to, to generate impact at all. Uh, uh, think to the technologies that have been used uh, during this lockdown and no one uh, has been produced, for example, it uh, was an outcome of a European project. We just used a, a, a very simple uh, environment that they were produced for collaborative work and that they be uh, readapted to, uh, to be used for, uh, uh, to, to carry on learning activities. So uh, this is uh, uh, my advice because the restoration is well designed the call. Thanks. Thank you very much, Carlo. And uh, uh, in a few minutes, uh, actually, it should have already started the Asler the General Assembly in another.